I just, yeah, even saying the name of the film is annoying. So no, Chicken Little definitely does not fit in the Zootopia universe. Now let us never speak of that movie again. This has been Theory Pop. Thanks for watching. Now is Sing part of the Zootopia and Robin Hood? I strongly believe the movie Sing exists and that universe too. You should do a video about how Sing fits in, if it does. I honestly thought the movie Sing would be in here, but it wasn't. The new movie Sing fits the into this universe. Thing? What about but what Sing? What about the new movie Sing? What about the new Isn't movie Sing? The Where does that too? fit in? What, what about, about Sing? Sing? I guess I've put this one off for long enough. Hello friends, I am Welshie, and welcome to Theory Pop, the show with the most reliable upload schedule on YouTube. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the single most asked question on this channel. Are Zootopia and Sing set in the same universe? Back in November of 2016, I released the first Theory Pop video, a theory about Zootopia sharing the same universe as another Disney animated film, the seminal 1973 adaptation of Robin Hood. Amongst the many comments asking about the inclusion of other Disney movies were a surprisingly large number asking about a film I hadn't even considered including in the discussion. Sing. The reason I hadn't added Sing to the Zootopia video was because the movie was produced by a different studio, Illumination, and released by Universal Pictures. This meant that there was no way the two films could be linked. Movie studios are very protective of their intellectual properties, and for Zootopia and Sing to be set in the same universe would have required a carefully negotiated agreement between the two movie studios. These types of agreements between multiple IP owners do exist. Think about the most ambitious crossover of all time. No, not that one. No. Oh, for the love of- I'm talking about Who Framed Roger Rabbit. The movie is based on the novel Who Censored Roger Rabbit, which Disney purchased the rights to shortly after its publication in 1981. Disney then approached Amblin Entertainment to co-produce the film with them. While Disney held the rights to their own characters, Steven Spielberg convinced other studios, like Warner Brothers and Universal, to allow their characters to appear in the movie. But the film's producers couldn't just throw these icons of animation together willy-nilly. They had to follow strict stipulations in this massive crossover of intellectual properties. One such example from the film is the dueling piano scene. Two famous cartoon characters, Disney's Donald Duck and Warner Brothers' Daffy Duck, no relation, are playing pianos on stage in a nightclub. And while there is plenty of back and forth between the two, both are portrayed as equally talented pianists. Neither character could be portrayed as superior to the other, despite their apparent rivalry on stage. This scene, and indeed the entire movie, was the result of careful negotiation between multiple studios and rights holders. This rules out Zootopia and Sing being set in the same universe. There is no agreement between Disney and Universal to allow these two movies or their characters to cross over. But the real world is boring. Talking about the idea of a Singtopia crossover isn't as much fun if I just focus on licensing agreements and who owns what rights to which characters. What if we ignore the legal ramifications of this potential meeting of universes? What if we want to look at this from a purely in-universe perspective? Would the internal rules of the worlds of Zootopia and Sing allow the films to coexist in the same reality? On the surface, Zootopia and Sing do share some similarities. They're both set in worlds inhabited by anthropomorphic animals, living in modern settings with similar levels of technology, like cars and televisions. But the resemblance is purely superficial. There are some fundamental differences between the two worlds when we look a little deeper below the surface. Let's examine Zootopia first. The eponymous city is a mammalian metropolis designed and built from the ground up for the animals that inhabit it. Zootopia consists of a central urban area, with the buildings and areas designed around the physical characteristics of the inhabitants. Beyond this central hub are additional surrounding districts based on the environment of the creatures that live in those areas, such as the frigid temperatures of Tundra Town and the lush green canopies of the Rainforest District. These biomes are tailored directly to the mammals that inhabit those conditions. The city also makes concessions for creatures of every size and stature. Voles, mice and other small creatures live in a gated community called Little Rodentia, 
To larger mammals, the buildings and boulevards are tiny. But for the small mammals that live there, the community is the ideal size. There's a tiny elevated railway and a road system packed with minuscule cars that are the perfect size for the rodent inhabitants of the district. But it's not just the smaller mammals that have their needs catered to. Even the public transport system is designed to be as accessible as possible for all the animals in Zootopia. The train that Judy uses to travel from Bunnyborough to the big city has carriages with large raised glass roofs to allow taller creatures such as giraffes the space for their larger frames. The carriages have doors set at multiple levels to allow everyone from the smallest mouse to the largest elk to safely and comfortably enter or exit the train. The train station itself is also designed with this accessibility and convenience in mind, with tall drinks dispensers for giraffes and chutes for gerbils to get between levels. Zootopia has clearly been built around its animal inhabitants, as everything from the buildings to public transport is designed to be as accessible as possible for the various species of mammal that reside in the city. This is a city designed by animals for animals. Sing, on the other hand, feels like a human world that just happens to have animals living in it. The world has a one-size-fits-all design philosophy. Everyone has to adapt to buildings and doors that are all one uniform size. Take Mina and her family as an example. These elephants are forced to live inside a house that is far too small to accommodate them, crouching through door frames and squeezing into tiny rooms. Their home has no adaptations to suit animals of their size, and doesn't feel suitable for them. Public buildings pose a similar problem, with restaurants and theatres having a single entrance for all animals, regardless of size and suitability for that type of creature. And it's not just the buildings that have this problem. Vehicles only appear to come in one size. Mike the Mouse drives a car that is far too big for him, as there are no rodent appropriate sized vehicles seen in the movie though he does appear to have had some adaptations installed to allow him to drive it. This is the opposite of the vehicle designs in Zootopia, where cars are made to fit the animal. Sing just doesn't feel like it was built by the creatures that live there. It was designed by humans and had the animal characters dropped into it. The only real adaptation I could find for a specific type of animal was the installed waterway for fish, and that's likely only because without it, fish would have no alternative method for traversal. Speaking of fish, that brings up another problem. The fish we see in Sing are sapient creatures. They have jobs and are paid for their work. This is not the case in Zootopia, where fish are a food source for predators. Zootopia has a fish market, briefly glimpsed in the movie, as well as in supplemental material, such as the film's art book and the official guide to Zootopia. There's a huge gap between the aquatic characters of Sing and the fish that act as a protein supply for the predators of Zootopia. You might think I would go on to discuss reptilian and avian characters as a reason the two films don't share a universe. And while lizards and birds appear in Sing and are totally absent from Zootopia, this isn't as big a problem as it might first appear. As revealed in the Art of Zootopia book, the directors confirmed that lizards and birds do exist in the world of the Disney movie they are just located on different continents. While their presence in Sing, living alongside mammalian species, is at odds with the mammal-only policy of Zootopia, their existence somewhere in Zootopia's world means we can feasibly assume there is a location on the planet that these disparate species could meet and mingle. Though it may be unlikely, the presence of birds and lizards doesn't completely rule out a shared universe. But there are creatures in the movies that raise other questions. Domesticated species of animals make appearances in both films. Sing features several animals that are considered pets, such as Bob the News Dachshund, as well as a cat called Kip Casey. Zootopia, on the other hand, doesn't have house cats or dogs, instead having their ancestral species of wolves and larger cats, such as lions and cougars. However, Sing and Zootopia do share some domesticated species, pigs and sheep. These animals do not naturally occur in the wild. Sheep were selectively bred by humans from the Asiatic mouflon, and pigs were bred from wild boar. 
What really separates the movie universes is that Sing features animals that are bred and kept as pets, whereas Zootopia's examples of domestic animals are exclusively those used as livestock. The species in the two films just don't line up. So do Sing and Zootopia take place in the same universe? While there are some minor, superficial similarities between the two movies, there are too many discrepancies to conclude that they share a cinematic universe. Even if we ignore the fact that the movies are from two completely separate movie studios, the issues of world building and the inconsistencies of which species are sapient and which are treated as just a food source means that Sing and Zootopia do not share the same world. They exist independently of each other, but I think they're all the better for it. I'd be interested to hear what you folks think. What animals would you have liked to see in Zootopia that featured in Sing? Would Sing have benefited from a world purpose-built for the animal characters? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to keep up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.